Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny Barnett Roars from Craft Test Dummies again, and I'm continuing to broadcast this morning from the plaid booth at the CHA Mega Show. So the CHA Show is the Craft and Hobby Association trade show. It's available only to the trade. So you have to be a manufacturer, a retailer, um, a blogger, a designer, a press. And so I got to come onto the floor early and see all the goodies on the plaid booth. So we've done uh, some paint periscopes and YouTubes and now I'm going to show you the needle crafts and I'm kind of excited. Um, I don't do a lot of needle crafts but these kits are looking really fun for me. So I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see what I'm seeing. And here we go. So they still have their counted cross stitch projects. This is super cute. I just think it looks, you know, not like your grandma's stuff. It's really fresh and fun. This is already getting a lot of hearts so I know that you like it. Look how adorable. This little, it's a stamped cross stitch blanket that you could make for a baby. We've got some Mary Engelbright designs today to share. They're really pretty. And of course, the, this is all from the Bucilla line of plaid. Now, this is something that was old and is fresh again. Pillowcase dresses. Do you remember these? You would take your grandma's old pillowcases and embroider them and cut them into dresses. Look how adorable. I have to tell you, I'm gonna figure out how to make a super size version so I can make this into a top because I would wear it. It is so cute. So that's on uh, the stamped embroidery. Then I love this too. These are wood panels that you can cross stitch any way you want. So you could stamp or paint in the middle and then add stringing on top. Here's a sample. Here's the, oh, and somebody said, uh, Pibillo, uh, I haven't filmed there, but I will be heading over. So, but here's, um, and you just lace it back and forth. You don't even really, really need a needle as much for something like this. But I think this has a lot of legs. Look here at the America that you can, again, paint and stitch however you want. And here are those blanks. I love this little fact because 77% of needle crafters work on one more than one thing at a time. Like maybe 80, like me. Now, here's something new to me. It's called paper stitching. So in the plaid Bucilla line from Amy Ray, you can do card making. So the cards are pre-printed and then you would go ahead and stitch over the top. This is getting a lot of hearts. Um, it makes it textural. It's something quick that you could work up. This is certainly something that kids could do with you. And the designs are adorable. I'm nuts for you, you're a deer. Super cute. And then look at the tags. I'm, a, you know I'm a tag fan. I heart me some tags. Look how cute. All right, now we've also got some minis. Yeah, and somebody said this is, reminds us of retro thread crafting, totally. So here are the new minis that are out. I love a mini because it's something I can work up and just get it done, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I would love to make my one little tag with one of those. Somebody said, make your one little tag with these. Yes, please. Now, this put my eye out. I love this lady. Her name is Rachel Fawcett. She just handmade Charlotte. She has come up with denim embroidery kits. So instead of working on a white Ida cloth, you're gonna work on denim. And look at the result. It's so pretty. It's like working on black, but it's even better because it's fresh. It's like something that I think tweens would do. The, uh, when you look at it from far away, it just glows. The colors glow. And look at the elephant with the little tags and tassels. It's gorgeous. I can't stop penning it. So yeah, I want to do all of these. Um, this one's kind of like a mandala. So I think those are just stunning. So the next thing we're going to look at are the felt crafts. And of course, these are classic. You may have one or more of these already at home. There's the stockings, the wreaths, you can add the sequence, advent calendars, um, ornaments, little decorations. So here, I love the little advent calendar because you've got all the little pockets where you could put a little tag or a gifty or something fun. And then here's some counted cross stitch uh, projects to go with that too. But look at the dimensionality of these. When my grandma used to do these, they were not so fancy with all the sequins. But that's really pretty. I mean, don't you think, look at the one with the, uh, the skate here. 
with the additional sequins. So here's another little uh, wall hanging. I love the wall hanging too. Again, on the black. I don't know why the black background is really speaking to me right now, but I think it's really, really pretty. There's some more stockings. So, and then the last thing I want to show you here on this wall is the plaid creates. Do you remember Paint by Numbers? It has come into a whole new place. And I am shocked that this is Paint by Numbers. And you just kind of scroll through. So there's bigger ones, smaller ones. But I, it's just shocking to me that A, they're back, and B, they really don't look the way they did when I was a kid. Some of the different images you can look at. The puppy trying to draw it going in the water. Look at Santa. I mean, that looks really awesome. And then also the seaside scene. And then here's one. Check it out. This one actually lights up. Okay, so first you do the paint by numbers. And then it has the light kit. Can you imagine that? I mean, Thomas Kincaid, eat your heart out. These are called Luminosity Complex Kits. There are 12 colors. You can mix it, customize it if you want. And that's how it looks. Kind of amazing. And this is from the Thomas Kincaid line. So if you like that artwork, here it is, ready for you to use. And I'm saying thank you so much for tuning into our Periscope. If you're watching this uh, as a replay on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I do them live on Periscope and then I drop them to YouTube so we all can enjoy. And um, stay tuned for more videos. I have a whole playlist, CHA 2016, just things that are coming up here at the trade show that hopefully you will enjoy. Somebody said, thank you for all the videos. You're welcome. Thank you. I love to make them. I think it's a lot of fun. This is like the Oscars of crafting and I get to bring you all behind the scenes with me. So thanks for watching. Have a crafty day and we'll see you on the trade show. Bye-bye.